Hey guys, yeah, welcome back to the spot and we're hanging out still here at the Radisson Blue Anchorage Hotel in Lagos. And our special guest is in the house. Just glasses. Chilling. <laughs> Shiny earrings. Yeah, yeah, what's up, what's up? Blaney. It was with Hey, with Colo. But My guys, God. how do you say your name? Kid Dominant. Kid Dominant. What? what? Kid. So you're kid a dominant dom kid. Exactly. Right. So when you're an adult, you're dominating the industry, man. You're not be a dominant. Shutting down. <laughs> Since then. How old are you? Is that, can I ask that? Yeah, sure. How old are you? 23. 23. When did you start producing? I started producing when I was like 16. Okay. Yeah. And someone will come and meet you as soon as they do work on me. No, no. How did I it feel? I started, you started. Like, I started teaching myself. Okay, so when was the okay. first like commercial thing you did? The first one I did was Arezzi's What Is In It. That was like the first major. And you were how old then? I was about 19 then. Wow. Oh, yeah. okay. Arezzi, oh, thank you. <laughs> you no, seriously. Yeah. Most people wouldn't have that kind of faith in... Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the 90s. Yeah, actually, I did, I did a work. I produced a song for an artist that featured Arezzi. Oh, okay. okay. Love the Lava. And I really liked it. I really huh? liked it so much. And then he called me like, hey, what's up? I was in school and he called me and said, you come, come, let's work when you're on break. <laughs> what, like, okay, cool. <laughs> what's the process like for when an artist comes to you and says, make me a beat? Like, do they tell you what they want it to sound like or what kind of instruments they want in it? Or like, or do you just do everything yourself and just yeah, create? It goes, it goes both ways. Okay. You know, sometimes some artists come with no ideas at all. With zero <laughs> ideas, like, yo, I need like I know who I like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I like um, Davido's The Money. Can you give me something like, like that? that. Oh. I like, I said, no, you can't blow it up to something like that. You have to do something different. So I can create something for you. So that's what I do. And then some artists come with their ideas. And like, this, listen to this song, listen to um, Dodo, listen to so, so, so. Mm -hmm. Can you create something for me that is like this, but not like this? Mm. <laughs> and that's like this so. like what about... Um, uh, female artists. Have you produced anything for? Yeah, I produced for Cynthia Morgan. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't break my heart. Oh, oh I love that song. Yeah. Oh, wow. You should do more for her. Yeah. Because I was really good. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, why are you looking at this? No shade. I wasn't sure. I was trying to yeah, see if really I could pick song. up. Yeah, so. Okay, so so Cynthia Morgan. You did um, Orezi's Rihanna as well. Like, yeah. what other what other songs do we know that you produced? Or artists artist that you've worked or with. Artists, sorry, yeah. artists I've worked with. I've not worked with a lot of artists because mm -hmm. I'm very choosy when it comes to working with. Okay. But I've worked with artists and other um, people like Cynthia Morgan, Orezi, mm -hmm. David O, Olamide. Mm -hmm. Basically. Oh. Okay. Yeah, cool. So. Why are and you choosy? Whiskey choosing? Timaya as well. Oh, Whiskey. Yeah. Oh, wait. Which Whiskey song? Orezi, Whiskey, and Timaya, we did a song together. Oh, nice. And I sang with it as well. You did oh, nice. sing as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to ask me? Should we wait for your album? You see, the dominant to that name was about to happen. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. a singer, but I don't like to be called a singer. Okay. I'm a producer majorly, but I just like to Producer sing. Producer who sings. You like to sing, myself. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you think cool. that eventually you're going to put out your own kind of like album? Because isn't that what, um, gosh, what's his name? Who? Um, DJ Jimmy Jack? That he featured a lot of people, like, well, like it was DJ, but so. there was there was somebody else. I don't know if it was Malik Berry, but there was another uh, no legendary beats. I can't remember. Put that whole album. Yeah, put out lyric. Was lyric, lyric, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to do that now. Mm. Maybe later, mm. but no, no, mm. no, no. Okay. Now I want to just focus. I want to achieve all my goals as a producer first. Okay. Before I move to trying to be an. So artist. I want to put you on the spot now because you find that a lot of people complain. That's really complaining, yeah, but people have like reservations about the direction that your music is taking, you know. <coughs> Everything yeah. seems to sound alike. Everybody wants to do Afro beats or <laughs> Afro pop or whatever <laughs> it is. And gang -gang 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 -gang. If you're not doing that, it's like, it's not a good blow, moving. you know. Yeah. And most people always say, well, that's the sound that sells. And the producers actually want to do that because then they also get paid. good cuts and yeah. get paid well for that. So why do you guys do that? <laughs> the thing is, I think. Evolution is something that is constant in every part of life. You know? There was a time when slow songs used to rain. Be big, used yeah. to be big, like Celine Dion songs. Mm -hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? So oh with time, things change. <laughs> you get. So at that time, there were people who liked fast music and really wanted to dance to fast music. But yeah. They couldn't get much of that because they were not that big then. So, but right now, pop fast is music, big. Pop music is big, so we have to just adapt to it and work with it. Mm -hmm. In Yankee trap music is like. Yeah, the whole yeah. thing just everybody's been sounding the same Niger way. Trap. Niger <laughs> trap? Niger trap? Like Niger trying to do like trappish oh. kind yeah, of sound. So, 
everybody in Yankee, everybody's doing like if you listen to most of this song, they sound like almost alike. The yeah. Same, yeah. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. people don't mind because that's what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. So the first, the most important thing in creating music is satisfying the audience. Mm. So okay, but do you think do you think it affects your production style? Like can you work with like I don't know, Asha for example? Yeah, I can me personally I can work with anybody. I can create anything as long as it's music. Who would be the yeah. ideal person for you to produce something? Yeah, who are some produce? of your dream, yeah. you know, people to work with that you would uh, anywhere in the world? Um, I in think the world. right now I want to work with Travis Scott. I like that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a little Travis vibe going on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're going for? No, no, no. <laughs> I just like, I just like his like personality, his music, you know, mm-hmm. his creativity. Yeah. Good yeah. artist. Cool, cool, cool. And how about here in Nigeria? Like, who are some people who you haven't worked with that you'd be like, hmm, I would like to do something different with this person? Um, I think I like, um, I like Chris Daniel's talent. Oh, yeah. okay. I like his talent. Yeah. Okay. No but ladies, But basically, I work with people, <laughs> ladies. Yes. Mm, maybe. What if he doesn't want to work with a lady? No, no, no because I, I have nothing to do with Karak, she's a lady. I think I also work with them. Um, Don't put pressure on him. Yeah, me yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's cool. I like her as well. She's very talented. Yeah. Cool. So you said you're very choosy about yeah, who you to. when it, yeah well <laughs> I'm see now it's because my question is who don't you want to work with but I don't know if no, you're no, no. to answer <laughs> no, who, who don't you who, there's not like who will you who not I choose, choose yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll choose, choose people choice. but like with the period of time if this person might not be somebody I want to work with now. Okay. So has anybody one have you turned anybody down? You don't have to tell us the name, but have you turned people down? Yeah, of course. I'm looking at made jobs, someone will know. Of course, but I just did it in a polite way, I make them understand. We will oh, work wow. but not now. So how do you say that? Can you t- 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 how do you deliver that sort of a <laughs> message? This message. message. I don't know if I say this. There's WhatsApp, right? <laughs> but this is how I do, I just tell them like, okay, we'll work, but I'll hit you up myself. Don't worry. Uh, you understand? So So when next says worry. that to you, you just know, know that he doesn't like that he's No, it's not like I don't like that. It's not like I'm not going to ever work with them. Yeah, but, but not right when, now. Yeah, when the time is right. Mm-hmm. You know? Do you write? Do I write songs? Yeah. yeah. Every producer writes songs. Oh. Like 90% of producers write songs. Because mm-hmm. as a pro- producer, you have to have a great knowledge of how songs come up. And most okay. of the artists don't really have up to what producers have when it comes to songs. Ah, you really, see? Yeah. So you guys are doing a lot of the major work. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and they're just coming. And they're taking all the glory. Okay. Mm. No, we, we like our job low key. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we have our topic of the day coming up with Kid Dominant. Don't you go anywhere. Welcome back guys, you are still watching The Spot and we're still coming to you from Radisson Blue in Lagos. Um, We've been talking with Kid Dominant, who's our guest for the day. He's one of our top producers here in Nige. And uh, we're gonna talk about today's topic, which is gate crashing culture. Mm. Move forwards. Move, yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You're gonna have to explain that. For for those who might not know, (laughs) Mugbo Moya literally means in um, in Yoruba, Yoruba, it means I heard, I I, entered, I stopped, I entered, I, I branched up, yeah. So it's like one of those things that you hear about a party and you're like, ah, we heard that someone, 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 somewhere, who might not be anybody of yours is doing something somewhere. So you must stop because, you know, there must be rice, there'll be small chops, there'll somebody, be somebody drinks. Somebody told me about how, um, like, every time he goes to a particular wedding, there's this one waiter <laughs> that will come I know that guy. No, sir, I know that guy. He's not a waiter. He's not. He dresses in, like, trad. And he's just, he just comes to your either. table and, and he doesn't need anything. Do you need, he'll take care of you. I don't know how he knows about, all the vendors. Yeah. And then he, 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 he notices a table that he feels like there's a lot of young people. Okay. So he brings you all the brandy and champagne and everything so that at the end of the wedding, you, you give you're him giving something. something for all the... And I think about three weddings. Every single wedding. I, mean, I don't even know who you guys are. He I goes just, to, I, I guess I don't know. Like you can't be walking up with all these people. Exactly shocking. It's the same thing with like the ladies who tie gile or do makeup. So, so that's um, his hustle. That's his hustle. What's, so what they, was, what's that they job will, called? At least she's, I mean, they get, get tire. What they might do is possibly just attach themselves to the venue, knowing that yeah. there's probably going to be an event at least twice a month. So they'll come. Yeah. I see women literally getting their makeup done outside by yes, some no. random woman. Lady. And then they get their gile tied and then they go into the venue. Yeah. So those are... Yeah. We have an interesting culture, like with things like that. Gate but we don't only gate crash no like we don't only gate crash like trad things or wedding things. We we gate crash like regular parties. Like, have you ever been a great gate crasher, or have yeah. you have you ever like seen people try and gate crash something that you've been yeah, in? And you're like, ah, 
Who are you? Where are you coming from? How do we all know you? I've seen people like that, but I've yeah. never been one. That's what you're going to see. That never. Like Why would you do that? <laughs> Even like maybe events when you were an upcoming producer, yeah. trying to get into places where you can meet people who influential people. You've never tried to never kind of like worm your way to get somewhere. your get an invite to something that you know. No, no, no. Naturally, I'm like, if you don't invite me, I don't. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to respect <laughs> yourself. I hate yes, or, okay. Okay. So. Yeah. I think when I was younger, I definitely yeah. tried to gate crash a lot of places. Whether it was a club or um, mm -hmm. trying to meet somebody that I thought was cool. Mm -hmm. um, but now, just like you, I can't take the embarrassment. No. Even when people invite me to places, I'm a bit kind of. If wary I don't have as an. Well. Like, if I don't have a physical IMB In or whatever, yeah. I'm not gonna go. That Because I do not want ah. experience. Well, I, can't, um, I cannot take it. <laughs> In my university, I made. Sort of a carry out of it. Out of being a I'm not, I, I know gate crashing. Out of gate crashing. Yes. So my university, they had a, we had a hall in university where, and weddings used to hold there virtually every Saturday. Mm -hmm. People would use it for their reception, like not students, people from like out of <laughs> yeah, town right. would rent it. And on Saturdays we just Road wear food. a suit. Food. We don't have to wear a suit. Just dress nice enough. Nice. Okay. Just walk into the hall and sit in the corner. Okay. And we haven't been served. Huh? <laughs> we haven't eaten. We've been I now. know play. I know people like. And it's been rice. You know, we eat well. We didn't even care if we drank. We just, we're just hungry. <laughs> we eat. And there you and go. It was a very nice. Uh, I mean, we never got caught. Wow. So that felt good. I've seen. See, the thing is that like, people are very, very. People are like you know, the waiter guy that you're saying. They're gate crashing so that he can make money, money. out of whatever. Um, I've seen people who are like professional. They just, I don't know how, to, they just worm their way into places. I was at a, like, a family member's funeral. And we saw this guy by the graveside. Weeping. And nobody knew who he was. And one of my other uncles is like a, he's like a military guy. So he was like, who are you? Which church do you go to? Who do you know here? Just name one person's name that you know here. I said, ah, no, but I know. Who do you know here? He now asked like three people, like three aunties around me. Do you know this guy? No. Do you know this guy? No. You need to leave here before I get you bounced. Do you know at the reception, I saw him. He was there. He sat down. He, he was eating. He chilling. He had. He ordered, and he didn't order like you know. He, right. didn't, he didn't want to order like the jollof rice. He wanted like the select. You know, yeah. There's always that like, select yes. menu. Yeah. In Chinese or like a special bowl of like amala or two or something. That's what he was wanting. He oh had the cocktails and everything. One experience I had with one of these people. Mm -hmm. You know the way the um, your bar people when you're having your yeah. like your party and people spray money and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was this guy. <laughs> It was my, it was my, aunt, he was it was my money. aunt's birthday. Yes, exactly. Nah. They like to pick money. Yeah, I came, well. and they know, you know, it's family. Everybody knows. Yeah. Everybody. But this particular guy, nobody knows. Him. <laughs> and he was there dancing. He danced the most. <laughs> you understand? So I could chop money. He was dancing, and while he was dancing, while he was spraying money, and any money that dropped was his own. He would carry. <laughs> <laughs> was Where he? Who is he? See, my aunt saw him like, who are you? <laughs> See, I'm a hustler. That's it. You, you find them and just then they about him. anywhere. They bounced him. They bounced I'm sure bounced he made some money. He should put something more. At least if you leave with like <laughs> two or three k, it's not bad for a day's work. Just something to eat. Carry it and go. Yeah, but yeah, yeah I, I sometimes feel like it's. I don't know, Shah. People, it's people, imposing. people account for it though. So I remember when my sister was getting married, and I think somebody was saying to my mom because um, somebody was saying to my mom, ah, if you print. 200 invitations, expect. expect 500 people, but cater for 800 people because oh you know, God, more, yeah. more, more, yeah. And I'm like, it is expensive to feed people. Why should you then cater for the people who wander in off the street? Like, it's one of those but things the, that the costs weddings, you the money. The weddings have been lately, yeah? I think yeah. the security is more... It's tighter now. Getting tighter. tighter. Yeah. 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 yeah so so like, you don't have the IV, you don't have... The there was a, mm -hmm. um, a really nice wedding that happened next... Uh, last year, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, next something happened in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody we know, um, Lisa KOJ Eyewear, mm -hmm. and um, her husband, Tomiwa. <laughs> and I remember there was a big... There was a... I, was it on Instagram that I saw it? A sign that says... Um, Gile, is not entry yes. or something Gile like that. Or yes. is not I love entry. it. Which is so on point because yes. people will literally go out, and buy your fabric, for your and try to roll up. Yeah. <laughs> let me find you. Let me see you try that with me. <laughs> I'm gonna take you, yeah, and we're gonna whip you out the hole. Uh -uh. It is not gonna happen. I, I just feel like it's rude. It's rude. Yeah. Like nobody sorry. knows sorry, you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Zainab, Don't take a angry. moment. Let's I, take a I break. Shall. <laughs> let me breathe. You want a beer? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> we'll be right back with more. Still hanging here with Kidomin, and please do not go anywhere. Hi, 
Hi guys, welcome back to the spot and um, we're still here with Kid Dominant talking about the gate crashing culture. Please join us on Facebook, Twitter and also via email, share your comments and uh, we'll love to hear what you guys have to say. So I want to talk about gate crashing culture in the sense of, so outside of events, right? People who gate crash into your life <laughs> <laughs> and your issues. We all have mm -hmm. those aunties and mm -hmm. those uncles who always have something to say. Mm -hmm. And um, I personally, I, I feel like there should be a limited number of people who should have input in my life. <laughs> if you have not but been invited, in, um Mm -mm. Right, but you know now this is Nigeria. Everybody yes, has an opinion. Is. Not saying that I'm not you even saying that it's right to have an opinion. Uh -huh. So they want to share it with you. They just want to let you know oh, that they care about you. your uterus. Whoa. They care about your no. status. My they care uterus about your bank account. Is my responsibility. <laughs> my bank account is my responsibility for now. Oh, uh, uh, oh, she, see how she qualified that one for now. But the later on, but you know. I just think people shouldn't be as involved. As they are okay so to that I would say it's different in different cultures we just happen to have a culture where everybody wants to be all up in inside your business, your business, business yeah. all the time oh okay uh, you went to school do you have good like it's every oh, level that, of your that life question alone if it's your like, school it's your grade. I mean, when you're in school, rather, it's uh, your <coughs> grades. So you know you have to pass to be successful in life. Okay, once you finish university, okay, the next thing is, uh, okay, well, is there anybody around? You know, what's going on if you're a woman? If it's a guy, okay, you know, NYC, get a job, all that kind of stuff. You know, you know, what, you... You know what I do to people mm -hmm. who do that to me? People who try to come into my business. There are a lot of people who want to give, who want to give you advice. Yeah. You know, most of the time, people don't really want to give you advice. They don't want to say what they want to say. Oh. Okay. So when people tell me stuff and I realize that, okay, I understand the angle you're coming from and it's not on the positive vibe, it's mm -hmm, on the right vibe, mm -hmm. I just say, okay, thank you for the advice. I act like I accept it and do whatever I want you're to nice. do. You're nice. I do that. I just remembered <laughs> a, do that. Um, a meme that I saw online. That probably that shuts them up. No, because yeah, you know, them from just they feel fulfilled trying to <laughs> be yeah, to do what you want to do anyway. But I see what I was doing. Anyway. Yeah. Nobody's offended. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that there was a meme online that um, basically encourages you to um, get back at them in like the same way. Okay. So for instance, if somebody says to you, um, when are you getting married or having children, <laughs> whatever, then you say, um, like, you're getting older, when is your funeral? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that one, like, when is your wedding? Oh, I, I'd like to attend. They say, when is your funeral? I'd like, I'd like to, to come attend too. that too. Wow. Like, try that with an African anybody. Wow. Your, your funeral is the is one what we're gonna that we're all going yeah. to go to. Because don't try it. Don't try it with any Nigerian parent or, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. But how do you kindly tell somebody that, you know, it's not? But they're being a bother. You just, I don't know. That it it just, really um, depends. The best way is just say, okay. Just thank act you. like you're listening. You're listening. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you just okay. say okay. Thank you very then. much, Ma. Thank you very much, Sa. Mm. Thank you. I understand what you think. So. Yeah. Like, I mean, sometimes you seem like you can handle it, but I don't know. For you, my face already shows. Like, my face is just bitter. Just be like this. <laughs> thank you. I didn't know that thank you is not from my heart. <laughs> I was going to say for you, Ebuka, like, so before you got married, I'm sure you had a lot of people who were trying to tell you, um, trying to, to get give you married. advice about. Oh, okay what the marriage life is going to be like and what you should do and what you shouldn't do and you you're looking at some of these people and thinking but you you're you ain't got nobody like so i mean you get advice from people who probably think you don't know their story oh okay. and you're like but do dude. fix your home <laughs> <laughs> fix your home yeah, you know? fix your home i got a lot of that and mm -hmm. talking about people budging into your life it's just it's it's a lot uh, because we have such an extended family culture here and respect mm -hmm. it makes it so hard to do do your thing your way or yeah. Yeah. do what you want to do i mm -hmm. mean some people say end up doing it and just damning the consequences some people are able to do it politely yeah, i don't mm -hmm. know how but it's a very tough thing to do where you have all of these uncles and cousins and nephews mm -hmm. and aunties and mm -hmm. grand uncles who mm -hmm. ah, plenty. have who feel like they should you know be a part of your the process, whatever process it is, your, you know, life. your life, you know, your career, yeah. whatever it is, and yeah. you're just like, I mean, you're a doctor, you know nothing about television. <laughs> <laughs> How about we talk about like maybe football that's just. Yeah, let's just talk about know. a neutral subject. Has anybody ever tried to do that? Like tell you how, ah, that someone was nice, but you know, if you had just, yeah. and like, oh, my guy. Yeah. The, yeah. Worst, the worst I've got is someone trying to tell me, okay, there's a song that is, is supposed to be out mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. And then this producer called me over. Yo, 
I'm the in-house producer of this social label that he works with the artist. And then I heard this song. Boy, the song is mad. But can I just add one more thing to it? I'm like, uh-uh. Don't touch anything. <laughs> I like, just leave it that way. Yeah. I like it's perfect. You just he said just it's want, mad. Yeah. Cool. He just wants to add his name to the credits. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, no, you're not Yeah, most definitely. All right. And I mean, as people, who, like, okay, you're in the music industry where we do TV, media, different things. Um, have you? How do you deal with people who try to gay crash your life in the sense of not trying to involve themselves into your business, but just yeah. trying to be close to you so that they can tap into whatever it is that you're doing? So maybe people who want to do music. So because of that, they know that if I'm just, if I can just find a way to just be in your circle, maybe yeah. he'll give me a track, or maybe he'll introduce me to this guy, maybe he'll do this kind of thing for me. Like, how yeah. do you deal with that kind of thing? You can. Those kind of people, you can tell. You can. Can you always you can tell? tell from the distance? Yeah. Hmm. Definitely. Some people you know are people slow are and steady tell. though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they Me? will take their I can time. Tell. <laughs> okay. So those kind of people I know they're trying to get to my circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I won't let them in my circle, that's so <laughs> <laughs> How come it's so easy it's like so I just, uh, No if you don't make music, we make music. Yeah. You understand? If I see you're a real person, you can't tell real people from people that are just trying to take something from you. Mm. And sometimes you can, I believe, but I find that sometimes you can't. Like, and then you get surprised. Do oh. you know what I mean? There's people who are good at it. True, true, they're playing true. a long game. They're not doing. They're not gonna say, "Oh, nice quick, to meet you today," and then next day, like, "My guy, you know, we met last week. How about well, the track?" I've actually not met anybody like that. Ah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So then, yeah. I think I have. A, I mean, I've met a few people who. Not because not for me because I'm not a big deal, but like well I am. But anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. she just went three. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Can you focus? I know, no, no. <laughs> I know some people who we have people a mutual person in common, and then the the mid the, the middle person who is of, of influence somewhere then says, "Can you believe it? Like I've known this person for like six months or eight months or maybe a year, and I just found out that they're trying to do this 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 kind of thing, and they're shocked because the." They never would have expected, expected it. it. From why do people act for that long? Uh, whew, you'd that be was surprised. Special talent. Some people are <laughs> very, very surprised. Um, we're going to go on another break now. When we come back, we do have a little bit more coming your way right here on the spot. See you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching the spot, and uh, we've been talking about the gate crashing culture with Kid Dominant. Before we continue with the topic, we have a spotlight. For, no, actually, no, we don't. We have an on the spot. So let's see who we are asking some tough questions today. <laughs> Worst job. Uh, I was working at an IT company for six months during my IT. Uh, so that was my only and worst job. Only job ever. Most embarrassing moment would be when uh, I was on stage for a couple of minutes and my guitar didn't come on, microphone didn't come on, and then people started, you know, murmuring, and some people started booing. Most embarrassing moment. Um, hmm. Last lie I told was, I think yesterday. Yeah. Some people wanted me to do something very, very early in the morning, and I, I just didn't feel like getting out of bed, so I told them I had something else to do, you know, so, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> First love or first crush, I can remember it was in pre-primary two. Her name was Morenike. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Worst advice I've ever gotten was to keep a day job and then do music at the same time. And I always say, listen, it's, 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 it's not possible to do that because music is a 24-hour full-time job, you know, but worst advice I've ever gotten keep a day job and do music as well. Ah, yeah, so sexiest girl in my phone book. I have nothing to do with my phone book, but uh, I think the sexiest girl in my phone book would be in Kichi. <laughs> uh, my biggest fear would be, um, I think it's a really common fear, the fear of failure. And um, <clears throat> I mean, after working so hard for a lot of years and then, uh, maybe 10 years down the line, you're just, you know, dormant. You have nothing to show for it. You know, that fear of failure. I think that's, that's my biggest fear. Um, biggest regrets. I actually do not have uh, regrets. You know, I, I believe that, I mean, things happen for, for a reason and there's like a whole master plan or major plan. 
So, I mean, whenever things happen, I just, you know, look at them and move on. So, I actually really, this, this question, I really do not have any regrets. My celeb crush would be um, Megan Good. Hmm? All right. <laughs> good in bed or good in kitchen? I prefer good in bed because good in kitchen, I mean, you can always substitute kitchen. You know, anybody can do kitchen for you, but bed, you know. What's the last lie you told? Last lie I told. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't remember. That's the last lie you told. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I can't remember. Ah. You don't lie. You're not, at least you're not going to say you don't lie. I lie. Everybody, everybody lies. lies. Okay. The last <laughs> lie you told. The last lie that I told, I care. Hey! <laughs> that I would not want to be the guy who How does have to be person? a guy? Come on. Wow, that is so deep. What is... <laughs> What is wrong with it you? It was about a situation that I didn't care about, but it, the other person cared about it. I didn't really care. But I mean, I care about the person. I didn't care about the situation. But you don't want to tell someone, I don't care about what you're telling me. So, I mean, I listened. I'm like, yeah, I do care. But I didn't really care. Was it you? I don't know if it was It me. was not you. She hasn't told me she cared about anything, so. Um, I mean, why are you making it sound like that? <laughs> uh, last lie I told. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, don't have to, don't wreck your brain about um, it. Um, 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 um. It was probably to one of our... No, I didn't lie to her that day. Um, the fact that you're thinking so deep about it's it. It's probably got something to do with me saying that I'm... Yeah, I remember. You're going somewhere. I was somewhere where I wasn't. Stop lying about these things. Stop lying. You were in man's house. That's what you were doing. Which man? I'm just saying. I think I remember Jesus. last night. Ah, yeah, what is it? What is it? You were in woman's house? Night. No, no, no. no <laughs> okay. Someone asked me how much I bought my car. Oh, okay. I told him a price of one million naira less because I don't want him to have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll do that oh, but can we borrow yeah, some cash? Because no, clearly, no. he just met you, dude. Clearly, the person is watching right now. Yeah, yeah. I see. He's going good, good day after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, he's coming. Somebody will soon WhatsApp you. Oh, so you like that? Be sorry, it's, guy. My bad. It's cool now. It's cool. Yeah. What about you? I yeah, know you lie yeah, all the time, so just pick one. <laughs> No, not that. Yeah, I've told that. I've said that a lot. I think I told someone I was sitting there saying. <laughs> yeah. That is terrible. <laughs> no, it's not. Why? Why? Do you owe that person money? That in... No, I just don't you want just to. You just don't want to deal with that person. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be that person at the time. Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't ready. It wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> What's, I'm going to put a few on this what question. Just okay. What's your, you can only pick one, and okay. you can't say you don't know, yeah. and you have to answer fast. What's your favorite, who's, the, who's your favorite artist that you've worked with? David O. What's the best song that you think you've done? The best song I've done, I think, I had, but it should be between Orezi's Rihanna and David O's Demon. Mm. Yeah. Who's Orezi's your? Rihanna, mm -hmm. it's, song, it's a song that went so, yeah, yeah. Well, it went of across the continent. Yeah. So. Even up to tomorrow, I still check my SoundCloud and I see plays from Israel. I see, oh. I get mails, emails and from DJs in Afghanistan. No, sorry, not Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> but DJs in uh, Israel, yeah. Okay. Israel almost. Yeah. Um, Netherlands, yeah. Send me mails like, please, we need the beat to this song. Oh, we need the beat. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, actually, that's pretty tight. Make sure you charge them a hefty price. Oh, huh? definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you say, oh, he's out for the money. It's not even, there's no I'm jokes. About, no, no, I'm about the creativity, yeah. But, and also but about the money. Ah, but you have to eat. Well, Creative people have to eat. It's your work now. Yeah, yeah, so they definitely you don't want to charge for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the worst person you've worked with? Or worst difficult? Person, no, nah, worst. I don't know if I say worst, but like somebody who you had the challenges. Yeah. Do you guys don't know him? Who? He's, he's an upcoming act. Mm -hmm. We don't know him no, and, no, no, and, no, and he's still the <laughs> He's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We love the track that you guys did yeah, together. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's going to drop soon. Yeah. Woo! What about in-house people? In Keshington. 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 Yeah, it's Keshington. Keshington. Keshington, we're talking about. Keshington, yeah. Not the so Keshi guys, no, not Liu Keshi. No, Keshington. not Liu Keshi. We have, we have a, we have a Ebony, a Ebony Life family, Keshington. Yes, yeah. and Keshington. he's got a really cool track that will be coming out soon, hopefully, with yeah. Kid Dominant. That's really cool, though. So, yeah. when you find young talent or you find people who are, like, trying to come up, do you... 
how do you work with them? Like, do you, you do you believe in their talent and then like work with them on things, or is it that they come to approach you and say, "Guy, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Can you help me out?" Like, what is your kind of strategy with with with, with, with young new people, yeah with new, new talents, like people who are yeah, just trying to come? In most out. cases, new people are just they are raw. They, they don't have any experiences about how these things go. So. Mm -hmm. In most cases, I put them through. Okay. You know, so I'm somebody open to new talents. Like, you know, I like open young people that are trying to make music. You know? mm -hmm. I like to open them up. Do you give them a discount? Cause I'm too yeah, definitely. Like, give them, <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> our Lamide has a very lovely voice. Who? So if you, this lady she, right here. <laughs> so if you ever need like backing or first lady of uh, first lady of she every life record. Yeah, she's local. She's local. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I have to listen soon, to the voice. Yeah, no yeah, so. we'll I'll send you some tracks. Send you some tracks. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. I know, I know. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice one. Okay. Well, um, looks like it's time for another break. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when we come back, we are going to be rounding up for the day on the spot with Kid Dominant. Please stay with us. Hi guys, welcome back to the spot. It's almost time for us to go, but before we do, Kid Dominant, <laughs> Kid Dominant, we uh, like to play games on our show. Okay. Um, so today I reckon we should play concentration. Concentration, you know play concentration? I don't know. How okay. Does that concentration is basically like a quick, um, we say, like I might say, concentration, concentration, name, boys' names beginning with the letter X. Okay. And it goes this way, so I'll start and then Zainab and then Ibuka and then you. But it has to be quick, so I'll say Xavier, she might say... Ah, that was you... first that I could Alright. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, so that's an example. So if I say that, if you miss four yeah. different times, you have to do ten push-ups. Are you serious? I hope you're strong enough. I hope you're strong, because we're pretty good at this game. Um, really so, so let me we'll start off. Yes, I'll right? start off. Okay. I'll, I'll do It's very simple. Concentration, concentration. Concentration. Names of... Male Nigerian artists. David O. Kesh. That's one. <laughs> Were you sleeping? What are you looking at? He wasn't here. It's a bit too fast. <laughs> what too what fast? What do you expect? There's only one yeah, person in between. <laughs> All right. Uh, concentration, concentration. Concentration. Names of um, female artists. Cynthia Morgan. Tiwa Savage. Jemaladi. Waje. <laughs> I was hoping they now, would get back to me. Why would you? Why would it not get back to you? There's so I was many really of us. Hoping. One each. Oh, yeah, you have one. You have one. Uncle Ibuka. Concentration, concentration. Concentration. Names of producers who've been on the show. Key dominant. I don't know. Thank God, because even I didn't know. I was like, the only one we've had. Right? Was, no, he's not. But he wouldn't have known any well, other I know, ones. I know before. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, Wait, who, who who actually has been on the show that's also a producer? We had T.Y. Mix. <laughs> oh, yes, we had my dad. Oh, yes. Technically. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, he used to be. Lal Wakins. Oh, I think I've heard that name. Mm, yeah. Vintage guy. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Busy on us. Um. <laughs> it could be anything. It could be really simple things, honestly. Anything. Okay, concentration, concentration. Concentration. Tilapia. Wow, sardines. <laughs> Scallops. <laughs> it's not a fish, it's a scallop of fish. <laughs> I, was God, I was so deep. Names of fishes. I was, yeah. deep. I was thinking about, I was going to say snapper. Snapper. That's what I was Great, so I you have two. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah, have two. Ah, okay. Zainab. Oh, do you guys think this is funny? All right, cool. <laughs> concentration, concentration. It's, it's, way. it's, the it's my time. Oh, okay, you're right. Concentration, cool. concentration. Concentration. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, concentration, concentration. Names of primates, monkeys. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's three. <laughs> Miss one more. Are you going to do 20 push ups? Oh, it's going to be fun. That. All right, okay. Cool. Concentration, concentration. concentration. <laughs> Names on Zainab's birth certificate. What? Zainab. Toby. Cuckoo, it won't reach me. Good. He has two. <laughs> no, you still have three. <laughs> wait, you... wait. Wait, wait, wait. I said Balugu. Is that right? Oh, oh my God. God. Hi, girl. I said, I have one. I have one. You have three. Why? It doesn't make any difference. Push up, push up. Which push up? How can I have one and she has three and I'm doing one thing push up? Oh, yeah, Ibuka, you better make sure she misses because I want her to do push ups today. Concentration, concentration. Concentration. <laughs> Names. <laughs> and so we can. Names of the current hosts of the sports. 
She's gonna. Go. She would not no, call no, no, her no, that no. name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was planning That's on doing that. Concentration. 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 Um, names of hotels on Azumba. <laughs> Radisson Blue. <laughs> For Oriental. Oriental. Oh. No, no. It's too late. Oriental is not Azumba. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, it, it is. is. It is Azumba. Oh, yeah. You didn't get to me. <laughs> what the the Maria? Ain't that coming? It's not there. It's not there. <laughs> well, the land is there. <laughs> okay, one last one because. It's dangerous now. Yeah, it one is last dangerous. one. Okay, you're old. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> concentration, concentration. Concentration. Make it hard. Mm. It's the simple ones that mess you up the most. Series of messages best. GLE. <laughs> M class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we have to go. We have to go. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you so much for being here, kids, Dominic. Um, we're gonna do those push ups. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you next time. You got away with it. Bye, guys. <laughs> Selfie time. No. Selfie.